The IQ test, or the intelligence quotient test, is one of the ways that people derive a score to assess the performance of their mind. The performance of the mind is called intelligence. Intelligence of the mind is the horsepower that determines how far we can go in any given situation. What you need to know is that more and more people all over the world have begun to take the IQ test more seriously. It has also been found that more than 6-8% of the brain controls our intelligence, and thus, some believe that the size of the brain is also one of the more important aspects in determining a higher intelligence. But of course, this is still on the table for argument and scrutiny. Patients who have damaged their frontal lobes in some sort of accident or other, have been found to be lacking in the intelligence factor, and when exposed to a battery of mental exams, it has been found that their level of intelligence decreases when damage to this area is done. For most psychologists, they would encourage anyone to take the IQ test and see the score that they receive. What they mean is that most of the mental disorders or developmental conditions in the mind can show up in these tests if the scores are far below normal. You can then refer yourself to psychologists for more tests and perhaps spot and detect the disorder before it becomes much more obvious.